One day, someone came knocking at Noddy's little front door. Bang, bang. Come in, called Noddy. I'm just washing up my breakfast things. Splashity splash. In came Big Ears, Noddy's friend, beaming all over his face. Noddy, it's such a lovely morning. Do let's go for a nice long drive in your car. All right, said Noddy. Just let me pour away this water. Oh, sorry, Big Ears. Did I slop some over your feet? Oh, dear. Why is water always so wet? See, here's a towel. Big Ears rubbed his wet legs, and Noddy went to get his car. Ready, Big Ears, he shouted. Come on, the car's singing a nice little song. Can you hear it? So it was. Listen. Oh, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, do. I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting for you. I'm hooting and tooting, I'm jiggling too. So hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, do. Soon Big Ears was sitting beside Noddy, and away they went. We'll go to Rocking Horse Town first, said Noddy. And I'll have a ride. You know, Big Ears, those rocking horses can go very fast. So can your car, said Big Ears, holding on to his hat. Look out! There's Mr. Plod, the policeman. He's shouting at you. What do you think you're doing? What do you mean? Look out where you're going. You're going much too fast. So he was. But Noddy didn't stop to hear what he was saying. He shot by Mr. Plod, hooting loudly... And Mr. Plod shouted again. Come on now, what do you think you're doing? You be careful what you're doing. Oh, you silly little Noddy. Oh, dear me, where are you going now? You're being naughty, Noddy, said Big Ears. Don't go so fast. Good gracious me, we're at Rocking Horse Town already. So they were. And there were the rocking horses, rocking to and fro, getting along at a great speed. Big ears! Quick! Let's jump out and ride one, cried Noddy. Come here, horse! Please give me a ride! And now Noddy is riding a little rocking horse, and Big ears is on an enormous one. Oh, what fun! Sing, Noddy. Sing, Big ears. Here we go rocking up and then down, riding away in rocking horse town, holding the reins as tight as can be. Rock away, rock away, merry and free. Ride on a rocking horse, isn't it fine? Gallop, a galloping all in a line. See up there, rocking horse, swing to and fro. Rock away, rock away, here we all go. Suddenly, not his little car got tired of waiting and began to hoot and to jiggle up and down. Oh. We'll go to Humming Top Village. Getting into his car again. Do stop jiggling, car. Now then, off we go. Top speed. Whoosh. Away they went down the hill and all the way to Humming Top Village. Ah, they must be getting near it. Can you hear that strange humming noise? That's the humming of the tops. It's like a lot of bees humming, said Noddy. He jumped out of the car as soon as they came to the village. Goodness me, what a lot of humming tops there were, all spinning round and round. I'd like to climb on one and spin round and round too, said Noddy, running to a big top. Come on, Big Ears! No, I'd feel much too giddy, said Big Ears. You be careful you don't fall off, Noddy. Noddy sat on a top that was lying down for a rest. Spin, top! Spin! He said. And the top stood up and began to spin. First of all slowly, and then very quickly indeed. Listen to it humming. You're singing a song, top! cried Noddy. I'll sing it too! It's fine to be a humming top, whirring round the 
that is a nice song, said Big Ears. Better come along now, Noddy, if you want to go anywhere else. Stop spinning, please, said Noddy. And his top spun round more and more slowly. It wobbled and wobbled, and then it fell down, wobble, bump, wobble, and lay still. Ah, thank you, Top, said Noddy. That was simply lovely, but, oh, I do feel giddy. Where shall we go now, Big Ears? Home, said Big Ears. And I'm going to drive. You look much too giddy. Tomorrow we'll go to Bouncing Ball Town, if you like. Hurry now, get in the car, Noddy. And away home they go, the little car humming its own merry song. See you tomorrow, Noddy. Pop, pop! Pop, pop! Can you hear Noddy's car hooting outside Big Ears' toadstool house? Come out, Big Ears! shouts Noddy. We're going to Bouncing Ball Town and Teddy Bear Town. Hurry, my car's longing to go. Out came Big Ears, running down the path. He jumped into the car, and away they went, jiggledy joggle through the wood, off to Bouncing Ball Town. All the little rabbits came out of their holes to watch them go by. What's that they're singing? <laughs> It's a nice little song, Rabbits. Now come along, let's find Bouncing Ball Town. Ah, that must be it on the hill. Yes, Noddy can see lots of round things bobbing up and down. There are balls bouncing quickly along. Look at them bouncing all over the place, said Big Ears. I hope they don't bounce onto our car. Oh, that one nearly did. Go away, you big clumsy ball. Soon there were balls bouncing all round them. Come to see the little car. What a noise they made bouncing along. I know a song about you, shouted Noddy. Keep away from my car and I'll sing it. It's a very bouncy song. Listen. Oh, the bouncing balls are all over the place, bobbing about at a terrible pace. Bobbity, bobbity, bump. It's hard to drive when they're jumping around, bouncing, bouncing all over the ground. Jumpity, jumpity, jump. Oh, bouncing balls, please listen to me. You're just as bothersome as can be. So please, will you drop a tea drop and roll on the ground and lie quite still while my car and I go away down the hill. Without any stoppity stop. That song makes me feel as if I want to bounce along too, said Big Ears, getting out of the car. I think I'll have a try. See me bounce, Noddy. Oh, oh, I don't like it. I've bumped myself. I didn't bounce. The balls are laughing at you. Aren't they rude? Said Noddy. Get in the car, Big Ears, and we'll go. Keep away, balls. I won't have my car bounced on. And away they went, with the balls bouncing all round them for quite a long way. Look, there's a signpost to Teddy Bear Town, said Big Ears, as the little car purred along, saying pop, pop, every now and again. We'll soon be there. I hope the bears will be nice to us. The teddy bears crowded round the car, grunting loudly as it ran into their town. Give us a ride, cried one, and three of them sat on the back while Noddy drove round the town. The bears began to sing in their lovely, growly voices. Listen. <laughs> Big teddy bears are we in furry coats as you can see. We 
plod along the village street and grunt at everyone we meet. Dear Noddy, if you want to grunt, you press your tummy just in front. And all your friends will stand and stare and think you are a teddy bear. When the car stopped again, more bears came running to it, grunting and growling. Oh, what lovely, deep, growly grunts they had. Hark. Uh. That was a big grandpa bear. Uh. And that was a small girl bear. Uh. And that was three bears together. Uh. And that was a baby bear held in its mother bear's arms. I want to grunt too, said Noddy, and jumped out of his car. I want a nice deep down grunt like Grandpa Bear's. Where do you keep your grunts, please? Here, said the big bear, and pressed the front of his tummy. Mm. Ooh, what a big grunt came. Noddy pressed his little tummy too, but what a pity. He couldn't grunt at all. I'll buy a grunt for myself at one of the shops, he said, and ran to them. The bears went with him, grunting and laughing. Big ears laughed too. <laughs> you can't buy grunts, Noddy. But why not, Big Ears? Well, they're like sneezes and coughs. You can't buy those either, said Big Ears. Don't be silly, Noddy. Come along. It's time to go home. And there they go, driving home in the little car, humming the teddy bear song to the sound of the car's wheels. <laughs> Oh, Big Ears, what a lovely grunt you made then. How did you do it? <laughs>